All right, hi guys. Today we're going to do a fun little project using color theory. Color theory is the study of how the different colors of the rainbow mix and blend together to create the other colors. But we're going to do this using only three colors. We're going to use yellow, red, and blue, and these are the primary colors. You can make any other color on the color wheel with only these three colors. So the things that you're going to need today are going to be a white sheet of paper, a black crayon or marker, and a yellow, red, and blue crayon. If you want to draw everything in pencil first, then you can use a pencil and then go over it, but we can just start with a crayon today. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our black crayon and we are going to draw some trees. Now these trees are not going to be realistic. They're going to be abstract, so it's okay if they do not look the way that you think that they should because this is an abstract drawing. It's supposed to be a little different. So we're going to draw the basic shape of a tree and I'm going to divide my tree into three separate parts. So I'm going to use my black crayon and I'm going to make one big part right here. And then I'm going to make another little part in the middle and this one I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And then I'm going to make another one down at the bottom. And then I'm going to connect those parts with two lines. So that will be the tree trunk, and then we can make a trunk at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and make two more trees since we have three colors that we're going to be creating today. And you can kind of change up how they look. They don't have to all look the same. We're going to give these some land for the trees to sit on. And then we're also going to create a horizon line where our sky and our ground meet. So your horizon line is going to be back in the distance. You can start from the left and just jump over the trees that we've drawn. And then you can draw some clouds in your sky. Now, this is a good practice reminder for all of us about color mixing, so I want you to pay very close attention to it. The first tree, we're gonna be using orange. Orange is what's called a secondary color, and you make orange by mixing yellow and red together. Yellow and red are two of the three primary colors, and it's important that you remember that. You mix these three colors together to make any other color that you want, but you can't mix anything together to make these three. So with crayons, they're not gonna mix as good as paint does, but we're still gonna try our best, okay? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna color in our orange tree with our yellow first. And then we're gonna go over that with the red. And you'll notice that it starts to look kind of orange because yellow and red make orange. If you want to go back over that with the yellow one more time, you can just to kind of make sure they're all mixed. And then you would keep on drawing in the rest of, or coloring in the rest of your tree. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to our next one. Our next color that we're gonna make is gonna be green. And you make green by mixing blue and yellow together. So we're always gonna start with yellow because it's lighter than the blue. So we'll go ahead and we'll color the top part yellow. And then we'll go over that with the blue. And 
and then maybe we'll go over it with yellow again just to kind of mix everything together. Okay, now once again you can keep going with the rest of your tree. You can even use a brown to color in the uh, tree trunks. Okay, now the last color that we're going to do is going to be purple or violet and you need blue and red to make purple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the red and we're going to color that in. And then we will go over it with our blue. And like I said, mixing with crayons is not the best, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do, friends. Not everybody has paint at home, and that's okay. So we'll go over it with the red one more time. Okay? So now that you have a basic general understanding of what colors mix together, you can then go ahead and finish that tree, finish the trunks. You can color in the sky, the clouds, the ground. Here are some examples of some that have already been done. You can see. You can add more stuff to them. These were created with paint, so they're going to look a little different than y'all's. But that's okay. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. Make sure that you take a photo and you upload it into Canvas using the submit button. And I hope you enjoy getting a refresher on how to mix colors. I'll see you later. Bye.